Um, you know how Facebook sometimes posts on your timeline, like something from two years ago or something from five years ago? Hi guys, so today it will be a very interesting tutorial, kinda. It's more like edit with me type of thing. So the other day, uh, Facebook posted on my timeline a picture from seven years ago. Uh, at that time, I just turned 25 and I had a photo shoot to kind of celebrate that. The deal with photographer was that he would do the photo shoot, but I want to edit my own pictures because at the time I already been doing retouching and digital editing and digital design. So now you can see some samples of the images that has been taken seven years ago and my edit with them. Let me know what you think in comments down below. Uh, just uh, be kind, remember it was seven years ago and I work with what I had and what I knew at the time. But also when I see an uh, image that Facebook posted on my timeline and this one the only and this one, and this one, uh, the, uh, this was the only image that I actually creatively added. And I got curious, would I be able to um, kind of repeat the same edit now, seven years later, and would I do something differently? And I was lucky to actually retrieve the photo shoot, but then I had very unpleasant surprise because it turned out it's all been shot in JPEG, not in RAW. I didn't really have that much to work with, plus the pictures itself wasn't really high resolution. But anyways, I'm still very excited to try to recreate my original edit from seven years ago. I'll edit it today with the techniques that I know and use today and see will it be different or will it be not and will I be able to achieve the same look. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and remember to subscribe and thumbs up if you like it and it will help a lot and I appreciate all of you and let's go to the tutorial. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is always creating a duplicate layer of the background. This is, I have for reference, obviously it's cropped. Okay, so I'm deciding I will crop for right now, I'll crop it this way. I hit OK now. So when I'm looking at the original image, I see that uh, the contrast is very high between highlights and shadow. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll try to use curve layers. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'll just paint the background black. It will be easier for me to see how much contrast I need to bring out. Just I'll create a new layer and I just fill it with black and I use mask. And with the brush tool, Okay, I think I'm happy. So what I'm going to do, you can see that the overall image is lighter than the black background. So what I'm going to do, I'll try to bring blacks. I'm trying to make them as black as possible. I think I'll use um, adjustment layers for it. Uh, levels adjustment layer is really underestimated. I don't see people really use it that much and I use it all the time. I use it way more often than I actually use curves adjustment layer. Okay, looks good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up the skin and here it's all look, it's kind of blurry. All the skin texture is just blurred out. 
you cannot see any skin texture not that you can really see any skin texture here but you can see a little bit and I guess that's how I was editing or that's how I chose to edit this time it will not be my choice obviously I'll try to use my uh, regular editing technique and I believe that there is a video on my channel I will link it under this video okay so what I'm going to do now I'll just create a new layer I'll take healing brush too and make sure that you have current and below Okay, I think I'm good now and I'm creating my dodge and burn, my trusted dodge and burn. I mean, even now, I'm not sure it will be the great image in the end, just because the picture itself is such a low resolution. But it's really interesting for me to see how I progress, hopefully, <laughs> through all these years with my editing skills. I'm happy with my editing. Now I will create one more dodge and burn layer and I'll just work on the highlights and shadows. I'll just enhance them a little bit. thinking that I added contrast here because this picture is way more saturated than the original and that usually happens when you bring up contrast. Okay, let's leave it for now. I see that I enhanced the eyebrows, the eyeliner, and I did the red lips. So let's go. Let's do the lips first. There is a many different ways of doing that. And the one that I usually go for is I'm using the hue saturation adjustment layer, but this is not the case. I'm just going to solid color. And the reason why I'm choosing this one is because you can always adjust the color later. So I guess let's go. Okay. And let's try multiply. No, let's try overlay. Yeah, that looks like it. Now make sure that the layer mask is selected and I'm pressing Command I. So I invert it and I still have brush selected. Now I'm just going to paint. Okay, so now I'm done with the selection on my mask. Let's try hue saturation. I, I create a clipping mask by pressing this little icon right here. So clipping mask, uh, what does it mean? It means that it will uh, affect only the layer that it clips to. So whatever I will tweak hue saturation now, it will not affect all the image. It will affect only the layer. It will affect only the clip color. Let's try the curves adjustment layer. So what I want to do now is I'm going to the clipping mask 
and I'll create one more clipping mask and I will I'll add let's try brightness and contrast and now it will affect clipping mask That's one more clipping mask. Let's bring the lights. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stamp all the layers and I'm going to dodge and burn. Let's create one more layer. Let's go for the brush. Let's choose black. That is the final work. Unfortunately, I wasn't, I didn't have high resolution image to work with, then I would think I could do much better job. But it still was nice to work. It's kind of bring a lot of memories and I was a little bit nostalgic with it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And remember to subscribe and lots of love from Houston, Texas. And see you next week. Bye. Did I want to say something else?